You're all very welcome to Parnell Park here tonight for the under-20 quarter-final between Wicklow and Dublin. A balmy summer's evening here up in Dublin. Uh, both teams out just putting the finishing touches to their warm-up. Uh, we have both teams in front of us. I'll give you a quick run through the two teams and I'll have a quick chat with Podge Doody, who's here with me. Um, in goal for Dublin is Josh O'Neill, number two, Connor Tyrrell, three is Adam Rafter and four is Ben Millist. Five, Rory O'Dwyer, six, Adam Waddick, and seven is Mark Lestrange. Mark O'Leary and Adam Fearn make up the middle of the field with Mark Lavin, Larkin O'Dell and Sean Forn in the half-forward line. Fionn Murray, Luke Swan and Luke Ward are the full forward line for Dublin there. Wicklow are actually unchanged, we're told, from the programme here in front of us. Jack Sargent is in goal. Chris Grimes, Maliki Stone and Tom Moran make up the full back line with Gavin Fogarty, Zach Cullen and Craig Maguire in the half back line. Ocon Bourne and Sam O'Dowd in midfield with Kevin Quinn, Johnny Kyo and Killian MacDonald in the half forward line. Matthew Ging, Sean Crowley and Owen Darcy uh, in that full forward line. I suppose good news for Wicklow is Matthew Ging starting after having such a, a big impact coming on the last day of Podge. They're obviously starting with what seems to be their strongest hand and uh, a huge task ahead of them here. Just a couple of things you've noted to me in, in the build-up. Yeah, no, it's great to see a match start, all right, because it gives that extra threat inside with Owen Darcy and that'll probably free Kevin Quinn up a little bit to maybe a more roving role. Yeah, just looking at the Dublin team, like they've 10 from last year's All-Ireland final that are actually playing in the exact same positions they played in that final and they were beaten by a pint and Galway beaten by a pint. I think it was last December that final was played. So that'll tell you about the, the strength of the challenge that Wicklow are facing tonight. But I think this Wicklow team, you know, if they can cut out the errors from last Thursday night, you know, move the ball a little bit quicker, win more breaking ball, no straight hand pass and things like that, I think they're up for this challenge tonight. Yeah, look, as we said, a, a huge win for them last Thursday night in Ockram with that late goal from Owen Darcy. And the good thing about for me was how strong Wicklow finished. I think, you know, they really kept in the game when things weren't going their way. There was a bit of unity about the group and, and that strong finish paid off. Like their fitness seemed to be bang on the money. Yeah, um, we, we had said that, that there's always a goal threat inside when you've Owen Darcy in there. And then when Match Green comes on then as well, he's a great man to kick a point. You know, he kicked... One of the frees he kicked was excellent. Even the first free he kicked was a difficult free. And he finished off with a great point from play then as well. And then Owen Darcy scores the goal then in the last few minutes, you know. And that's the threat that those two lads are going to give Wicklow tonight, which is very important. Yeah, and look, as we said, a, a strong finish from Maliki Stone. And it was a real team effort there. They really threw the kitchen sink at them in the last few minutes. Both teams now just finalising their warm-ups. Our referee will be John Hickey from Carlo here, I think he's no stranger to either of those teams, I'm nearly sure he refereed them in last year's uh, championship game as well so he's on the whistle for tonight as we look there doesn't seem to be any late changes or anything on either team, Dublin just in their huddle and we're just going to stand now for our on Naveen As you could hear the crowd there, there seems to be a, a huge chunk of Wicklow people have taken the option to get tickets for this one. Podge, there's a real bit of an atmosphere, even though the small crowd that's only Lehinders hinders. When the Wicklow team ran out there, there was, it seems to be a huge following here. Yeah, which is great. Like That's going to be very important because everything goes well for Wicklow tonight. You know, The players on the field will have to hear it from the crowd to keep them going. You know, And that'll be a great boost to them. Well, and we'll try and contain ourselves a little bit as well and trying to, to do the fairest job we can here. So... Wicklow will defend the goal to your left down here, down at the tricolour. Dublin. Are they? No. Dublin's backs look to be going down there now. No. Yeah, Wicklow will defend the scoreboard end, sorry. I thought the Wicklow keeper's just gone down to get his stuff there. He was 
but all eyes on him. Sean Crowley's gone straight to the middle of the field here for Wicklow. Looks like Kevin Quinn is lining up a wing forward with Matthew Ging and Darcy gone inside and Killian MacDonald is making up that full forward line, but he'll come out. It's uh, Sam O'Dowd gone to wing forward. Referee just checking everyone's in position. We're just waiting for Jack Sargent to bring his belongings down and put him in the goal. <coughs> Few positional switches, nothing really to talk about, but the ball is in, the game is on, and it's taken in the middle of the field by Sean Crowley. A loose hand pass by him, but comes back to himself, picks it at the second attempt. Again, a loose hand pass in Dublin, take it away, really nipped in there, the centre forward, who is Larkin Odell. Odell passes the ball off as far as Mark Lavin. Lavin, little dink of a ball inside, and Wicklow cut it out, though, do really well, and Craig Maguire comes away with the ball, gets it as far as Chris Grimes. Again, a loose hand pass from Wicklow. Three already in this game, and we won't be able to get away with that podge at this no. stage. No, definitely. Not. They're going to have to tidy that up straight away, really. Killian McDonald goes short to Kevin Quinn. He's on his own 45. McDonald, you'll see lots of them back around there. That's the role he plays. Ockenburn hand passes a little ball off as far as Gavin Fogarty. Fogarty out as far as Sean Crowley. Wicklow worked their way to the middle of the field. It's back into the hands of Killian McDonald. McDonald has a look again, needs a runner, gets the ball as far as Tom Moore and Moore. Little pass into Johnny Keogh, twists and turns. Dublin push up on him. They obviously know he's a danger from that type of play. Killian McDonald is swallowed up by three Dublin players. Good defence by Dublin. Again, there's some heavy tackles. Tackling going on, all in trying to get possession of the ball. It's McDonald goes down on it. The referee has a good look at this one. There's a stray boot gone in, but Gavin Forley comes away with the ball. Play away, says the referee, and Forley puts the ball in his foot, charges towards the top of the D. Two Dublin men after him, kicks the ball off his left foot, but it's gone away to the left of the post and wide. First chance to Wicklow, first wide for Wicklow, but referee is not going to hold us up with the whistle here. No, he's not. He's going to let it go, all right. Gavin Forley found a lovely little bit of space there and darted through it, and he's just shown the pace that he has. Josh O'Neill, the Vincent's man about to take this kick out. Again, Wicklow press really high up the field, giving the Vincent's man a bit of a headache under the kick out. It's down, Ockenburn has just shoved off the ball there by Sean Foran. Foran is tackled by Kevin Quinn, but he keeps going. Good running by the wing forward there. Pops a little pass in as far as Mark Lestrange. Lestrange has a lark on Odell. Odell just around the top of the D there, twists and turns and uh, shoves off a little hand pass. It's recycled back out as far as Foran. Foran picks a little kick pass into the corner. The great pass it was, Fionn Murray kicks it high and Fionn Murray kicks it over the bar, the first score of the game is Dublin's, it's one point to no score, we have two minutes on the clock here in Parnell Park and that's just, uh, Dublin's just cutting edge there, Podge, they were really clinical Yeah, no, great finish as well, just turn and shot straight away, you know, good finish Ball is in the hands of Maliki Stoney. Ham passes the ball up to Johnny Keogh. Keogh goes long looking for Owen Darcy. Darcy out in front. Looked like a little push in the back. Play away. So the referee picked up by Rory O'Dwyer. O'Dwyer gets the ball back as far as Connor Tyrrell through the hands and gives it to Mark O'Leary. O'Leary, the Crokes man, solos forward with the ball. Has a look. Takes on Hockenburn and kicks a low low pass inside, a very good pass inside as far as Luke Ward, Ward has a runner off his shoulder doesn't opt to take him at the first attempt and Wicklow nip in with Tom Moore and takes the ball brilliant play there by Wicklow it's into the hands of Ockenburn Burn. it was Zach Cullen actually into the hands of uh, uh, Sam O'Dowd, O'Dowd takes on his man, does really well, he needs a bit of support, that support is Ockenburn, all oh, loose hand pass from Burn to Stray into the hands of Larkin O'Dell, O'Dell has options, a man wide open on the far side is Sean Foran, but he opts to go in in front of the goal, Maliki Stone does really well, brilliant full back play by Stone there, comes out to the top of the 45, solos down the field, there's green grass in front of him, he has a look around at his options, Johnny Keogh is one of them, Keogh takes the ball in the 45, looks to pop a pass off, does pop a pass off to Macho Ging Ging, talk about shooting, twists and turns, and twists again but Dublin do really well and get back in numbers and break down the play it's in the hands of uh, Connor Tyrrell Tyrrell pops a pass out to his centre back Adam Waddick Waddick underneath the stand at the far side of the field Sean Crowley in front of him has a look up tries to twist and turn calls for over carrying by the Wicklow crowd not listened to by John Hickey the referee it's in the hands of midfielder Mark O'Leary O'Leary all the way across the field here as far as Rory O'Dwyer O'Dwyer charges up the field underneath uh, Sam O'Dowd comes to try and track his run but it's in in with uh, Luke Ward Ward twists and turns recycles the ball back to O'Leary back out here as far or Adam Fear back to O'Leary O'Leary goes cross field to his wing back uh, Mark Lestrange Dublin now trying to build up slowly it's 
Uh, Sean Foran Foran comes all the way across field Dublin have numbers here Waddick has a look up pops little pass in as far as Ward Ward is getting on a lot of ball early here back to his centre back Waddick Waddick finds the full forward Luke Swan Swan twists and turns gets it back as far as Mark Lavin Lavin has a chance to shoot it's high and it's gone to the right of the post and wide a patient build up Wicklow just held their lines well though Podge yeah, they didn't rush into anything there and just almost forced them into the shot from distance. Yeah, they did, yeah. They were very patient there, Wicklow, and they didn't dive in or anything like that. And, and the last ball that actually went in, Malik Iscone did really well on, on, um, on, on oh, Luke Swan, smart. yeah, to, to get out ahead of him because Malik is both strong and quick, you know, and that's what you're going to need Kick there. Kick out right to the sideline there from Jack Sargent. Couldn't be kept in by Sean Crowley. It's a Dublin line ball. Not exactly what we needed from that one. It's Dublin back in possession here and it'll be taken by Mark Lavin, the Luke and Sarsfields man. Lavin sizes up his options, three men inside, all making darting runs there, which leaves Maliki Stone a little bit isolated with Swan in there. It's a high loop and ball inside, both players go, it's broken down. Wicklow get a hand in, do really well, and it's back. Killian McDonald sweeps up the play, gets the ball to Craig Maguire. Maguire bursts out with the ball, takes a heavy challenge from Fearn, but keeps going with it. It's in the hands of Johnny Keogh, back to McDonald. McDonald 65 yards. On his own on the 65 yard line, now he's on the 45, he's heading towards the top of the D. Chance for McDonald here. Can he get Wicklow on the board? He can, it's high, it's over the bar, and it's great score by Killian McDonald. Brilliant build up play, and he took his point really well there, Podge. Yeah, and that's exactly what he does well. You know, he was on the play early, he got the ball off Gavin Fogley when he intercepted, and then he continued his run up the field and kicked a great score. Six minutes on the clock here. Dublin have taken the kick out quickly. They're recycling through the hands. Adam Rafter goes back to his keeper, Josh O'Neill. He takes it back from him. He's on his own 21 right in front of the goal. Wicklow just wait for the press. And then it comes with Kevin Quinn. But again, Dublin had numbers back there. And it's Rory Dwyer. Dwyer comes up the field with the ball. Lively looking player, this Dwyer. Hand passes the ball out as far as Mark O'Leary. O'Leary, long, direct ball in as far as Luke Ward. Ward out in front again. Twists and turns. He's between the 14 to 21. Gets it back to Mark Lavin. Lavin, oh, he's gone around Craig Maguire here. Danger here. He ups the box it over the bar and a simple score from the wing forward there. Simple play by Dublin. Direct ball in. Laid off and boxed over the bar. That's a good score to put Dublin 2-1 up, Podge. Yeah, very strong player, Mark Lavin. One of the lads from last year's All-Ireland final. I see Dublin are looking for Luke Ward a good bit inside the Kilmacud Crokes player. Kick out this time from Sargent. Gives Wicklow a better chance. Not as near the line. It's broken in the middle of the field. Sam O'Dowd picks it up. O'Dowd solos to the middle of the field. He needs an option. He has an option. His arm was pulled back to the referee. Gets away with that one. A long ball in as far as Kevin Quinn. Quinn out in front for this one. 21 yards out. Has a look. Twists and turns his way around his man. Gets into a shooting position. Ball just up off his foot a little bit. Quinn does really well though. Will this one curl in enough? It looks to be going to the left of the post. It is gone to the left of the post and wide. Unfortunately for Wicklow. Chance gone a big in there. Two wides I think for Wicklow there at the minute. It's two points to one. Seven minutes. Little over seven minutes gone. Chance again for Josh O'Neill. Pumps a kick out to the line here. Mark Lavin takes it. Second attempt does really well. Lavin, as we know, he's a strong looking player. Connor Hill hand passes a long hand pass into the middle of the field in as far as uh, Mark O'Leary. O'Leary pops it off to Adam Waddick. Waddick, little hand pass out to his cornerback, Ben Millist. And again, Dublin come red and it's dangerous here. A little bit of pace injected and the ball is palmed off to Adam Fear and again into his midfielder, Mark O'Leary. O'Leary charges forward. Inside is Luke Swan. There's danger here for Wicklow. He draws a leg ahead and drills it wide. I suppose Wicklow done well enough just to corral him down into a, a dangerous, a not so dangerous yeah. position. Yeah, and then he ended up rushing the shot then as well. Like, you know, no, Wicklow did okay there. Um, they'll have to be keep a good eye now on Lurkin Odell as well there. He could have been coming off the shoulder there. I think it would have been a better option for Dublin. Kick out is Jack Sargent. He goes right out to the far sideline where he's just overcooked it. It's over the head of Tom Moran and Sean. Sean Foran will take this one, takes a quick, goes back as far as Adam Waddick plays a little ball inside. Chance for Dublin, bit loose from Wicklow now at this stage and it's into the hands of uh, Fionn Murray. Free, says the referee, I'll give you the advantage. He got his advantage, did the number seven, Mark Lestrange, and he kicks it high and over the bar and Dublin push two points in front after just about nine minutes here, eight and three quarter minutes gone. Dublin three points, Wicklow a point. And Jack Sargent again under pressure with these kickouts. Dublin are 
pushing up. He's gone long down the far side of the field. Brilliantly taken by Zach Cullen. Cullen looks up, pumps the ball in. It's Kevin Quinn who makes a dart and run out. Turns his man, does really well. Quinn, there's a chance here for Wicklow. Quinn comes in the goal. Adam Waddick comes to take him down, does he? No, a little box of the ball. It's high and it's over the bar. And that's the danger that Eric Paul poses in as far as the likes of Kevin Quinn. Yeah, definitely. And he showed great pace there and physical strength to hold off the tackle and turn his man and then pick up the ball and run in on goal and calm enough then just to fist it over the bar Point in it point between the teams nine and a half minutes gone it's Rory Dwyer Dwyer again charges up the line here the ball gives a little pass he's, he's hand passing and then Wicklow give it straight back there a loose hand pass from Ockenburn and Wicklow had a chance there for a counter attack and it's just gone a begging but it's now in the hands of Larkin Odell Odell wearing number 11 he's out 65 yards out has a look up kicks the ball off the outside the boot oh it's a good ball it's into Luke Ward Ward is lively looking in there and Luke Swan has it goes around Malachy Stone does he know just Stone just as enough Fionn uh, Murray has a chance here oh he gets through two or three tackles the referee says play on it could have probably got a free there but we'll take that one I think Podge yeah. he done read the defenders got back in numbers and Wicklow have a chance to attack here now it's Johnny Keogh 45 yards out from his own goal pops a little pass off to Sean Crowley back into Sam O'Dowd O'Dowd deep he started wing forward remember gives it on Darcy Darcy now has uh, Ben Millist on his case there kicks a ball into oh great ball into Kevin Quinn Quinn turns this time turns to his left good play by Quinn takes on one two three double and kicks the ball high and kicks it over the bar a wonderful score from Quinn a wonderful score from Wicklow from what could have been a score at the other end yeah definitely that was a great turnover for Wicklow really go up the field and get the ball to our danger man or two danger man Darcy and and Quinn and we get a score. Pressure on the Dublin kick out. Josh O'Neill has kicked the ball out over the line. Killian McDonald has a chance to go quick here. He goes across field out to Johnny Kyo. Kyo is under all sorts of pressure. There's no freeze for that here. He's very consistent. The referee is doing a great job and Adam Rafter cleaned that one up and gets it back as far as Mark Lestrange. Lestrange gets the ball up the line as far as uh, his full back Rafter who's all the way out. He comes across to Rory Dwyer. Dublin try to take the sting out a little bit and build from the back. It's Larkin O'Dell is on the ball. The number 11 deep in his own half, pops it off as far as Mark O'Leary, O'Leary has a look up in a little bit of space, this could be dangerous enough, there's runs being made inside, he opts to go for the runner off his shoulders, Adam Fearn, Fearn charges forward, chance for him, steadies himself just to the left of the post and wide, he was in two minds kicking down and it's like he was going for the pass, decided for the kick, we're level here in Pardell Park, 11 and a half minutes gone, Podge, a good 11 and a half minutes. Yeah, that Wicklow are in the game and that's the most important thing, you know, that, that they stay competitive and stay in the game until the first water break. Chance for a kick out for Jack Sargent. He wants to know where will I kick it. He goes high down on top of Sean Crowley. Oh, good play by Crowley. Gets it as far as Johnny Crow, uh, Johnny Kyo, sorry. Kyo pops a little pass off as far as there's a Wicklow player down. There's a Wicklow player down off the ball here and the referee has stopped the game. But was he called by an umpire? I'm wondering. Wicklow in possession about 65 yards out. I didn't see quite what happened there, but... Wicklow player seems to be in a little bit of distress. It looks to be Matthew Ging. Yeah, it's Matthew Ging, all right, yeah. The referee has gone to consult his two umpires down at the down at the, the hen there. He's, he's having a little chat. Didn't seem to be much of a chat now, to be fair. He was coming back very quick, so. He's saying he only pushed you. Pushed you over, yeah, that's yeah, all. That's all. Ah, oh, Bush was a free though, did you? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, look at, he's, look, in fairness to the ref, the way he started this game, there's no messing going on, it's all about no, playing no, football, no, and no. He's, he's letting it flow on both sides. Craig Maguire takes the ball from uh, Zach Cullen, Cullen charges forward the ball, looks like he was tripped there by Mark Lavin. Referee just smiles and says, you know what you've done, get on with it. 13 minutes on the clock here as Wicklow go in search of another score. It's kicked in. Two men now on Kevin Quinn. And the centre-back Adam Waddick gets the ball. He gets it out as far as Larkin Odell. Odell injects a lot of pace into this attack. Pops the ball off. Outside Adam Fearn. Fearn is charging down. Someone needs to go to him. Here to go. It's the goal. He's going to... Oh, good tackle. Brilliant tackle from the Wicklow man. Brilliant refereeing as well, in fairness to him. They've done really well there. That was a really dangerous couple of seconds there, Podge. Yeah, Gavin Fogarty did really well because he didn't give up. The Dublin player had a run in on goal and Gavin kept going and going and going and got a hand in to dispossess the ball, which was brilliant. Craig Maguire gives the ball off as far as Ockenburn. Burn goes all the way 
back with hand pass there as Wicklow try to recycle things up. It's uh, Sam O'Dowd takes the tackle, gives it back to Byrne. Byrne looks up again. There's only two inside, but they're the two you want. Can Quinn get to this one? He does get to this one. He's taken. Wonderful man to win his own ball in fairness to him. Solo's inside the 45. Goes low, looking for Matthew Ging. Ging doesn't get to it. It's a loose four hundred by Mark Billis. They do enough Dublin though. And Rory Dwyer comes away with the ball. Has a look and pops a pass off here as Dublin now look to punish Wicklow for that breakdown in play. Uh, up the field again to this number 11, Larkin Odell. Odell does really well. Cullen does well to just stop him in his tracks and turn him and make him pick the pass. It's a good pass though in as far as the full forward Luke Swan. Stone is on his case but Swan turns to his right, kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. A good score from Dublin after a breakdown in play at the other end. And this is a great game of football, Podge. Yeah, it surely is. Larkin Odell there showing his skills there, you know, getting on the ball and hitting in a great pass into Luke Swan. Four points to three, 14 and a half minutes gone. We're approaching the first water break here. Jack, Jack Sargent takes the kick out, goes long again looking for Sean Crowley, but there's no one there when it breaks. Only uh, Mark Lestrange, he gets the ball inside, does really well. Lestrange on the break, two Wicklow. Oh, there's a hand on that, but there's danger here for Wicklow. It's uh, Mark O'Leary. O'Leary opts to tap it over the bar, ta does tap it over the bar. And, Five points to three now, two scores in a row for Dublin. But Wicklow are suffering under their own kick out spot. Yeah, they are. Like, that's three they've lost there now, you know, to over the sideline on that one as well, you know, and, and they need to retain possession on the kick outs. Again, Sergeant looks, put throws up his hand. Sam O'Dowd is in the middle of the field looking for it. He goes long to the far side, Crowley is underneath, gets a paw to it and gets it to Sam O'Dowd, does really well, chance for Wicklow to attack here. Crowley though, is uh, crowded out of it there and good play by Dublin, knocked the ball away from him, just a bit lax maybe, should have made up his mind a bit quicker and now Dublin charge forward with Mark O'Leary, Larkin O'Dell is off one side and O'Leary opts to go himself, two in a row now for O'Leary's, no, he's just pulled it to the right and wide and that's a, a let off for the Wicklow side there at this stage of the game. Yeah, definitely. Um we didn't want Wicklow or Dublin scoring three points in a row there in, in the space of two or three minutes. Sergeant again. I, I don't know why we don't put two of our bigger men under a kick out and just kick it to them, to be honest. We we're, we're, seem to be at sixes and sevens. Yeah, well taken this time though. By Ockenborn, brilliant play by the big man. Drives a long ball down looking for uh, Kevin Quinn, but Mark Ballis does very well and gets his hand on it. Gets it to Adam Weedy, or Waddy can gets it back up the line here as far as... Uh, Mark Lestrange, he comes into Larkin Odell. Odell, oh, he's turned over. Good play by the Wicklow men again. Zach Cullen uh, offloads a little ball as far as Matthew Ging. Ging a long way out from the goal, turns back with this one, recycles it back as far as Auckland Burn as Wicklow look to get a score before this water break. It's into the hands of Killian McDonald. McDonald runs from deep, goes long, looking for Owen Darcy. There's danger here for Dublin. Darcy tries to get his hand over, but Josh O'Neill was alert to it. He probably was in behind, he could have nearly took it, I thought he had a march on the full back there, but good play from Dublin to come out with the ball, Mark O'Leary, O'Leary looks up 45 yards out from his own goal, gives the ball to Mark Lavin, Lavin twists and turns and has a look at his options, tries to take on uh, Craig Maguire, does take him on, gets the ball in as far as Larkin O'Dell, O'Dell gives the ball back to Mark Bellis, the corner back, position seemed to be nothing here at the minute, it's Conor Tyrrell on the ball for Dublin. Gives the ball to Mark O'Leary. O'Leary has a look up now to kill McCood man. Been very prominent in the last couple of attacks. He's going to be prominent in this one as well. Luke Swan tells him where he wants it. He puts it in front of him. He's at the top of the D, but Malachy Stone does really well to twist and turn him and turn him. A brilliant play again by Stone. And it's picked off by the Wicklow defence and it's in the hands of Craig Maguire. Maguire gets the ball to Sean Crowley. Crowley solos forward with the ball, has a look, recycles back to Ockham Byrne. Byrne pops a pass off to Gavin Fogarty. Can invoke Fogarty inject pace, hand passes the ball. Does he gets does he do enough? No, he doesn't. Look, it's gone back as far as Larkin O'Delders. A lot of space on the far side, Dublin have a runner here. Luke Ward will find Sean Foran Foran charges in on goals. Zach Cullen tries to stop him. He doesn't stop him. Goal from a turnover for Wicklow. It's 1-5 to 3 points right on the stroke of the water break. A sucker punch for the Wicklow men. And really of their own making. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. Like I'm just keeping track of it there. We mentioned the three straight hand passes in the first couple of minutes. We've been six hand passes now we've given away. Um, you know, if the crowd those errors, that's what they'll Six have to do. Six scores for Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm yeah. not saying they all came out, some no. of those were good scores for Dublin, but look, it's a sucker punch at this stage of the game. It's a five-point game here with 18 minutes on the, uh, that first half played, and I suppose, look, it'll take the lads a few minutes now to just maybe get the heads back up a little bit. It's just typical of what Dublin do, though. 
it is actually, you know, they were they seem to be comfortable playing within themselves and then making those bursts, you know, that's kinda like they're Suss and Wicklow out there. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know. Um but I think Wicklow just have to cut loose now, I think, for these fifteen minutes before half time. Yeah, I think so. Just give it a right good go. Um the last two weeks it's if you want a chance to win your Renault Captor E Tech, it's the last two weeks of the draw, so you need to get your name in the hat very quick. Uh we have tickets on sale on the website and it's one for twenty euros, three for fifty, and seven for a hundred. So get your name in there. You could be driving a very swanky car. Winner Renault.ie. I'm being told here that I didn't tell you. So get your name in. It's a great draw. Ah, it is like, and it's it's for the future of Wicklow football, really. You know, and, you know, and uh, Hurling Punch. I'm sorry, and Hurling, <laughs> of course. It's for for the all the academy <laughs> squads. <laughs> sorry, I'm only concentrating on the football yeah, tonight. Yeah. Then, but <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. We we'll give you that one. Not too many hurls in Baltic glass. <laughs> Couldn't let you away with it. No, you're right. <laughs> Dublin are coming back out weekly, just taking the extra couple of seconds. The referee blows the whistle, he's ready to go. A very entertaining first 15 minutes of football from both sides in fairness. Dublin finishing with a flourish there. I think the Wicklow tackling has been excellent as well. Like even when they look like they're under pressure, they actually haven't given away a free yet. I know there was probably one or two advantages, but the referee hasn't given a free to Dublin because of the quality of the Wicklow tackling. Yeah, it has been very good. It's been really on the money. So, as I said, it's, it's the, our kick out has been a little bit wayward sometimes, but Jack Sargent drills a long one down the field. Owen Byrne goes up, ball breaks in the middle of the field, but again, Dublin pick up the breaks and ball comes to Rory Dwyer. Dwyer solos forward, looks up has a second glance, was going to go in as far as Fionn Murray didn't decide again, it gives the ball to Mark O'Leary, O'Leary strong running is causing Wicklow a lot of problems but Fionn Murray kicks this one and tails to the left of the post and wide and the, the Mark O'Leary strong running in that first half is causing a lot of problems Podge isn't it? Yeah it is, he looks like an impressive player, like he kicked the wide earlier on because he probably just didn't compose himself but he's definitely getting on loads of ball and running hard Looks like he's pushed in as far as centre forward now as well, he's he's pushed up the field, Dublin have brought I think Wicklow's way of playing is causing Dublin to change their tactics around a bit and it's not suiting us at the minute. Ball breaks in, well done by Adam Fair, knocks it back to Mark Lavin, pops off a pass to Lock and Hodel looked for the return but it's nab nabbed there by Zach Cullen, Cullen done enough but Hodel has got it back, plays the ball into the corner here in as far as uh, Luke Swan, Swan has a look, recycles the ball back out to Rory Dwyer as Dublin just tried to probe at this Wicklow defence here. Dwyer gets the ball to Adam Waddick. Waddick goes all across the field here as far as uh, Mark O'Leary. O'Leary solos, has a look. Sean Forn right hugging that far touchline there. Forn again looks to recycle, does recycle a huge kick across the field as far as Adam Fearn. Good play by Dublin here, just trying to draw Wicklow out. Lavin has a look, has a runner in Rory O'Dwyer. Tries to go alone, but this one thought it was going to start curling, but it didn't. It's gone to the right of the post and wide. Another wide for... Another wide for Wicklow, or for Dublin, sorry. Seven wides in all for the Dubs, so they are starting to dominate proceedings a little bit. We'd like to be down the other end a little bit more. We're struggling to break down this, the way Dublin are set up across the middle third. They're really causing this Wicklow team problems. Again, the kick out goes right out to the sideline. It's taken by Killian McDonald. He breaks the tackle of Sean Four. Now, this is where Wicklow need to make hay now. Has a look up. Tries to get the ball in, but it's a poor kick enough. Darcy has to come along with oh, a heavy oh, shot. Hurt. Heavy shot on Owen Darcy there. Takes a shot to the head. Wicklow are not happy with that tackle. Not happy at all with it. It looked there was three involved in it. Yeah. Looks like he's taken it to the side of the head there. Yeah, he has. He's after taking a heavy knock there, really, you know. Um, and I don't think there. Well, I don't think there was any sinister looking no, at the no. first time. I think it was lads just going hard for the ball, and it's just that Owen Darcy has come that out. It was almost more of a crossing yeah, of, of, yeah. of bodies than anything else, and and he went down straight away. You know, it's a worrying sign. Yeah, he didn't look to be a lot of movement there no, when he when he no. hit the ground as well. So this, he, he's. Sitting up on he's up on his knees here now, so we're just worrying moments for Wicklow here. Looks 
Firestone Darcy's used to taking heavy hits and he's Yeah, well he's getting well yeah. used to it now yeah, in Firestone. Is, yeah. but anything around the head though you'd rather not see it happening. So no, they're having definitely. a good look at him here, which needs to be done. See how this one pans out with 21, just 22 minutes gone here. It's still 1 5 to 3 points. We can need a couple of scores now just to steady the ship a little bit. He's up anyway. He seems to be heading towards the sideline, which is a huge worry for Wicklow. There's a sub coming in. JP Nolan is coming in, is he? JP Nolan comes in for Owen Darcy. Huge blow for Wicklow there after picking up a head injury. Yeah, and in fairness, Owen doesn't look great going out there. He looks no. very groggy, so he looks he can't take any chances with head no, injuries. No, he looks shaking enough, to be fair, so... Darcy departs after 25 minutes of this one. A big, huge blow for Wicklow as they're five points down at the same time as well. So, Ockenburn has a look, hand passes the ball back to Zach Cullen. Cullen solos with the ball and has a look at his options. He comes across the field. Is he looking for Craig Maguire? Yeah, he is. He pops it off. Maguire, though, doesn't take it at the first attempt. Breaks down, and there's danger here. The flood, uh, Dublin full of forward with Connor Tyrrell. Tyrrell gives the ball out to Mark Lavin. Sean Forn out on that sideline again. He's hugging that line, but he's seen a lot of ball and doing a lot of damages. Dublin just halt the attack and come all the way across the field as far as Adam Waddick. Waddick now right in the middle of the field here in Parnell Park. Has a look up at his options. Kicks long again over as far as Foran. Foran is just trying to stretch that weak lot of defence. Gavin Fogarty right out on the line. Stops him in his tracks. And again, Dublin recycled. They're happy enough to play ball out around there. Connor Tyrrell gets the ball as far as Rory Dwyer. Dwyer looks up again and sizes up his options. Gives the ball to Larkin Odell. Odell tries to inject a bit of pace. Does inject a bit of pace. There's no one in front of him. Only weak lot jerseys. But he's gone by a couple and kicks this one high. And kicks it wide again. Another wide for Dublin. Just Wicklow have just got away with a few there, I suppose, Podge. They could be further behind. Yeah, and, and Lurkin Odell, he just covers the ground so easily, so he does. He's a very silky looking runner. Yeah, he's a. It's that gasp of excitement when he gets on yeah. the ball almost, isn't it? He's that, he's that player for Dublin. Shark kick out this time goes to Tom Moore and Moore. And, uh, feeds the ball in as far as Gavin Fogarty. Fogarty has a bit of space in front of him. He comes inside where there's three Dublin jerseys. Gives the ball back off as far as Ockenburn. Burn, middle of the field. Pops a pass to Killian McDonald. McDonald, 65 yards out now. Puts down the head and runs far. Pops a pass to Johnny Kyo. Kyo gives it back to Matthew Ging from a long way out. Drops short into the keeper's arms. Probably never going to go over from there. Mightn't have been the right option. And Dublin back in possession here. Kicks a uh, long ball up as far as Adam Fearn. Fearn. Right in the middle of the field again, Dublin come forward in numbers, recycle and get the ball to Mark O'Leary. O'Leary police in the middle of the field now, he's, he had gone in closer to the goal but he's back out around midfield where he started. Low ball in as far as uh, Luke Ward, Ward twists and turns and gets it back as far as Adam Waddick. Waddick again Wicklow numbers surround him and turn him, Rory Dwyer in possession, Wicklow are, Using a lot of energy here, trying to track these runs, but it's a loose pass and it's into the hands of uh, Craig Maguire. Maguire charges forward with the ball, 45 yards out, 65 yards out from his own goal. Has a look up, gives the ball to Johnny Kyo. Kyo twists and turns and looks for the right pass. Kevin Quinn makes a run inside, but he doesn't go for it. Uh, offloads the ball here. As far as, oh, again, Wicklow are turned over at a crucial time, probably. Sam O'Dowd got the ball robbed from and Killian McDonald just didn't pick it up then as well. Again, Sean Foran blasts a long ball in, but again, Wicklow get away with that one. And just little errors, Podge, that we spoke about. and it's, we're be, We weren't punished that time, but it's, it's danger every time yeah, an attack breaks down. Yeah, definitely. Like We can't be casual on the ball at all there tonight. The Dublin players just come in with a hand, dispossess you, and the ball is gone. Two Wicklow players collide under the kick out again, and kick out causing huge problems. Sean Murray takes the ball inside the 14. Oh, twists and turns, does really well. Murray kicks the ball high and kicks it over the bar. A score for the Dublin 13, and it's 1 6 to 3 points. And a six point game here now in Parnell Park. And Wicklow need, they need something from somewhere. 
Yeah, they need something to give them a lift, really, whether it be a big mark in the middle of the field or a score or something. They need something to give them a lift, get the crowd excited. If not, just need hands on their own, kick out first and foremost. Sergeant goes long down the field again. Sam O'Dowd is underneath ball breaks, but again, Sean Forns first to the break. Wicklow in trouble in around the middle there. Larkin O'Dell kicks the ball into this man, Murray. He got the last score. Will he get this at all? Oh, lovely little turn inside by Fionn Murray. Goes again, tries to go down the short side. Wicklow get numbers back. He gets a boo on it, but it's into the hands of Jack Sargent. Sergeant finds his club mate, uh, Craig Maguire. Good play there by Wicklow. Maybe uh, Murray just took a little bit too much out of it. So had Wicklow, but Killian MacDonald is on the ball now, 45 yards out from his own goal. Gets the ball to Johnny Kyo. Kyo twists and turns and gets the ball, a, a ball off as far as Sam O'Dowd. O'Dowd now starts solo with the ball, has a look up, strong runner. There's two men inside, but there's no one making a run. O'Dowd is tackled, O'Dowd is fouled, says the referee, and it's a free into Wicklow. Chance for Wicklow maybe to probe inside the full forward line and that's that man Kevin Quinn makes the run he's two men on his case gets there first does really well Quinn on the 21 turns back inside onto his right foot offloads a pass to JP Nolan Nolan gets the ball as far as Sean Crowley into the hands of Sam O'Dowd Wicklow just a little bit static there now trying to get the ball to their shooters one of them is Kevin Quinn Quinn again needs support three Dublin men around the tackling is very good from Dublin but his ball is stripped out of his hands by Adam Fair and you're not allowed to do that says the referee and it's a free into Wicklow at the top of the D and surely a must needed score from here. Yeah, definitely. And if you can only get the ball into Kevin Quinn quick, quick enough, you know, because we're looking at him here and he's making great runs. He's getting out into space, you know, and, and he's winning every ball. That's and he's double marked and, and he's and beaten and the yeah, two men yes, every time correct. as well, to be fair to him. You yeah. know, it's just, if you could see off camera the runs he's making, it's... He's putting in a serious shift in there, but Matthew Ging has this one. He's at the top of the D, a chance to put Wicklow on the scoreboard with their forward point. King steps up, kicks this one, kicks it high and kicks it over the bars. One six to four points with 28 and a half minutes on the clock. Another score by half to, before half time will be just what Wicklow need now. Josh O'Neill goes to take his kick out, comes long down underneath his hair and looks for Mark Lavin. Lavin looked like a little dude, takes his mark on Craig Maguire, done really well there. Uh, ships a hand pass off as far as Mark O'Leary. O'Leary has a look up and finds his centre back Adam Waddick just off his shoulder. He goes out as far as Mark Lestrange into the hands of Larkin O'Dell. O'Dell again deep, com comes deep to pull the strings, but Finds little pockets of space, Rory Dwyer, 65 yards out straight in, in the middle of the field. Uh, gets it to Odell, Odell back as far as Mark O'Leary. He kicks half the left, off the right, goes to the left of the post and just goes wide. Ten wides for Dublin here now. Two for Wicklow, so that tells a story in itself, Podge. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. And like, yeah, Dublin are doing well on their own kickouts as well. Like, they've won five of six, but we're kind of only breaking even on our own. Huge kick again from Sargent. Broken down. This time, Wicklow in the break, and it's Gavin Fogarty. Gets the ball, law loads as far as Maliki Stone. Stone goes forward, but three Dublin men come to him. He's still going with the ball. Good play by Stone, but he needs support. Ball is knocked out of his hands by Adam Fear, and he tries to get the ball out to JP Noll. King goes for the ball, gets a hand on, gets it to Noll. Into the middle of the field here to Sam O'Dowd. O'Dowd is at the top of the D. Gets the ball to Kevin Quinn. It's loose, but Quinn gets it at the second attempt. Top of the D here, Quinn. Chance for the blessing to man. He's blocked down. The ball might get as far as Craig Maguire. Maguire, it's gone in there. Oh, right back on the line, and it's mopped up by the Dublin men. Huge chance for Wicklow. Dublin with numbers back there and as Rory Dwyer does really well to snuff out the chance for the Wicklow men but just coming to half time it had been a tonic Dublin build from the back now as Larkin O'Dell has dropped really deep gets the ball to Mark Lavin Lavin uh, gives a dangerous looking pass but Waddick done enough to get to it Kieran McNall just missed him it's a low ball in in front of Luke Ward danger here for Wicklow as Dublin come raiding up the field Larkin O'Dell has a look there's uh, players on his left hand side screaming for his Adam Fearn but he doesn't give it to him he's gone himself he's gone into the 21 pops it back to Fionn Murray Murray kicks it high and it's gone over the bar I thought for a minute <laughs> however way I was looking at it, I thought it might have dropped in but it's gone over the bar and a huge score from Dublin after a lay off at the other end yeah, and that, you, could, you, you could hear actually the Wicklow crowd getting excited when Wicklow were attacking and that's what they're going to have to do with the Wicklow players give the crowd a chance you know, to help them along and, and raise their spirits, you know, and it would have been a great tonic for us only for Dublin cleared it off the line. Referee John Hickey is going to have a word with Maliki Stone here now for something. Sean Forn is down now on the line. There's something after happening there. 
think it was yellow, was it? Yeah. I couldn't see it from here. It was yellow. So, lucky enough, he's gone back to his position anyway. I was afraid he was going to be a black card. 31 and a half minutes on the clock. We go short with the kick out again, but at least we have it in possession. Dublin press high up the field as Wicklock try to get out with Chris Grimes gives the ball out as far as the like Wicklock crowd are going mad there. Chris Grimes has gone to ground. It's a diagonal ball by Wicklow into JP Nolan. Nolan has a look up. He looks for Quinn. Quinn has a bit of space inside. 14 yards out. He's on a tight angle. Takes on the full back. Does really well. Chance for Quinn. Boxes a high and boxes it over the bar. In fairness to Quinn. He's carrying, he's carrying the hopes of Wicklow at the minute, this young man in here. Yeah, he surely is. Like That's his third point from play, you know, and he really is a big threat for Wicklow. Wicklow, or Dublin take the kick out quickly. It's into the hands of Mark O'Leary. They come raiding Larkin O'Dell. Wicklow are man on at the back here now. Their sweeper hasn't got back at the minute. Mark Lavin's in a bit of space here on the 45. He's a chance. He's setting himself up. He goes, and again it's dragging to the left of the post and wide. Again it's a let off for Wicklow. It's another wide for Dublin. And if Wicklow can just keep chipping away here. Yeah, definitely. You know, like you could say Dublin are completely on top, like, but they're, they're only five points up at the moment, you know. Jack Sargent will take this kick out again. Wicklow look to go short again. I think it's Sean Foran is still down on the far sideline there, whatever happened. Number 22, Luke Murphy Ginan is in. One of the subs from last year's. Mm -hmm. um, all Ireland final appearances. He's in for four and four and picked up a knock there. So a couple of bits of off the ball stuff there with him and the fires. Oh, well taken by Sean Crowley. Knocked away from him. Loss is their play on. Or Marks is the referee. Crowley looks to take it quickly. Blows his whistle and he goes long in. JP Nolan's after this one, but there's two Dublin men underneath. One of them is Ben Melist. He tidies things up, gets the ball to Rory Dwyer. Dwyer has a look up outside of the boot, gives his man lots of work to do, but he will get there. He does get there. And that man is Connor Tyrrell, and it's just as we say, it's the half time whistle going here in Parnell Park. It's 1 7 to Dublin, five points to Wicklow. And I suppose, Podge, look. 11 wides, I think, for Dublin in that first half. Wicklow have a ball cleared off the line. Could be closer, but there could be a lot more in it. Yeah, yeah, it could be either way is right, you know. Like if, if that goal was scored, like it's it's down to a two point game. You know, losing on Darcy is a big a big blow for Wicklow. But the way Kevin Quinn is playing, you know, if they can just get loads of ball into him, like JP Nolan and a good early ball into him that time, you know, don't let the the second defender set up in front of Kevin Quinn. And I think that's going to be the secret: getting quick ball into Kevin Quinn, and we could get something out of that. Yeah, so look, as I said, five-point game here in Parnell Park. We'll be back with the second half to you shortly. Don't go away. Thanks for tuning in.
You're all very welcome back here for the second half of this under-20 quarter-final between Dublin and Wicklow and Parnell Park. It's 1-7 to Dublin, five points to Wicklow. Uh, Dublin just coming back out on the field. There's no changes on the Wicklow team. Of course, Owen Darcy having to go off injured in that first half. He was replaced by JP Nolan. We're looking around. There doesn't seem to be any changes on the Dublin team. And just, I suppose, discussing at half-time there, you know... Dublin with 11 wides, Wicklow with two, kind of tells its own story that first half, Podge. Yeah, they did, like, dominated, or Dublin did dominate possession, and, you know, and they did kick a lot of wides and whatever, but, um, like, I, I still think we're in this game, you know. I know a big goal threat is gone with Owen Darcy, but if we can get that early ball into Kevin Quinn, I think that's going to be the secret. I think the players just have to show caution to the win now and, and just go for it. As we, as we spoke about, just die on your sword here now, yeah, I suppose, yeah. and have a, have a right good cut at this, because... It's now or never. The referee just waiting for the field to clear. A couple of Dublin selectors making their way off, so we're ready to rock and roll here. Ball is in. The second half is on. Breaks in the middle of the field. Johnny Kyo. So wins that first ball. We need all oh, Kevin Quinn is in space here. Chance for Wicklow. Hand pass inside. Inside as far as JP Nolan doesn't take it the first time. Gets around his man. Comes back out on his right. Blast low. Goal for Wicklow. Just the tonic that Wicklow needed. Looked like his chance was gone. He done really well and blast the ball with his right foot to the back of the net. A two point game. What a start for Wicklow. Oh, definitely. Johnny Kyo so brave getting in for the breaking ball there from the throw in and getting it out to Kevin Quinn. Why they left Kevin Quinn free? I don't know, but they're after paying for it. Chance here for Dublin to build from the back again. Adam Waddick has the ball. They go long. A huge kick down. Malachy Stone is out to this one first. Stone picks it up deep in his own 14. Comes out with the ball. Has a look up. Needs a bit of support. Dublin try to converge on him, but Stone's away. 45 yards out from his own goal. 65 yards out. Support him, lads. He does. He gets support from Gavin Fogarty. Hand pass into Killian McDonald. McDonald finds space on the far side of the field. In the form of Tom Moran. Moran, 65 yards out from his own goal. Has a... Uh, look up, there's a bit of a spring in the step of some of these Wicklow lads now. Sean Crowley goes inside into Kevin Quinn. Oh, boot in from behind there. Referees his play on. Uh, it's in the hands of Matthew Ging. Ging gets the ball out to JP Nolan. Nolan recycles the ball off to Craig Maguire. It's in the hands of Ockenborn now on the far side. Wicklow come all the way back to Zach Cullen and try to build from the back again. They need more pace, need more options. Wicklow here. It all died down a bit there. Crowley. Uh, hand pass it off to Craig Maguire, back to Killian McDonald. McDonald on his own 65, has a look around now, goes forward with the ball, tries to uh, bring Wicklow closer to the goal, into a scoring position maybe. That, uh, in the hands of uh, Sean Crowley, into Kevin Quinn, there's a buzz of excitement every time Quinn is on the ball, pops it to JP Nolan. Nolan on for Darcy, 1-1 one, one in the space of a minute and a half there for Nolan. And Wicklow are banging this game now, a point. What a start to the second half for the Wicklow men. Oh yeah, like I say, JP Nolan's on a high now, you know, and, and Kevin Quinn winning those crucial balls inside. And he's also taking a bit of pressure off Quinn. They now yeah. have to watch JP Nolan in there as well. Big kick down the field. Sean Crowley goes about breaking it off his hand and gets as far as Craig Maguire. Maguire's right on the sideline, does really well to take it up off from Mark Lavin. The referee gives the free to Wicklow. Well won there from the Wicklow men. It's taken quickly. It's in the hands of Johnny Kyo. Kyo looks up. Will he pop the ball off? No, he does it the second attempt. It's in to Hockenborn. Byrne gives it to Tom Moore. And the number four charges for Lobs a little ball in. It's not to the liking of Kevin Quinn, though. It doesn't break from Rory. Dwyer picks up the pieces. Dublin will try to win, uh, run this one from the back. And now they have space over underneath the stand. And Wicklow need to get back into their positions. Carrying the ball forward is Mark O'Leary. O'Leary pops a pass off. Out under the stand and it's into the hands of his cornerback, uh, Connor Tyrrell. Tyrrell again comes back to Adam Waddick. Waddick gives the ball to Mark Lestrange over on this far side, over on this side here. And it's, uh, there is a sub in for Dublin. It's Luke Murphy, Ganan. He came on the first half, first time he's handled the ball, pops it off again to Waddick. Waddick goes all the way across to Connor Tyrrell. Tyrrell in the middle of the field now as Dublin try to probe for an opening here. They'd find an opening because the cornerback. Tyrrell has gone forward off his shoulder is Luke Ward chance for Ward uh, decides again looked like he touched on the ground referee was right on it to be fair but Dublin have turned the ball over themselves Wicklow in possession gets the ball to Zach Cullen 
Cullen gives it to Gavin Ford. He top it around Dean. Now Wicklow must break here. They do break. The step man Maliki Stone. Stone charges for Dublin converge on him. He needs support. He's tur he's turned over. Dublin do well. It's back into the hands of Adam Fearn. Fearn two, three, four. Wicklow men around him. Play on the referee. There's no holds barred here with John Hickey. I'll give him that much. And Wicklow came out on top. It's Maliki Stone charging down the field with the ball. Off his shoulders, Johnny Kyo. Pops it out to Kyo. Kyo comes back inside. Into Matthew Ging. Ging will shoot the outside the boot. Doesn't go off. Finds a Jebby, no, no, foot block, surely. Penalty for Wicklow. A penalty for Wicklow. A real chance here for Wicklow to hit the front. And what was a missed kick from Ging ended up in the hands of that man, JP Nolan, who was at a huge bearing on the first four minutes of this second half, Podge. Yeah, definitely, you know, and, and like this is a great opportunity for Wicklow. You know, we were talking about them just being in the game, really. You know, an opportunity now to go ahead, to go up two points, you know, and uh, I said, this will stun Dublin. You know. Well, stunned up, and I'd say, unfortunately, Owen Darcy was probably the penalty taker, but Killian MacDonald is stepping up to take this one. A chance for MacDonald. It was a yellow card there for number two, Connor Tyrrell, I think, or number four, sorry, Ben Millist picked up a yellow card there in the heat of that. We have a player down injured. I'd say Dublin probably feel a little aggrieved there wasn't a free in the build up to that as well, but in fairness to him, that has. That has been he's been consistent on that one all day long. He doesn't yeah, he's yeah. not taking any Malachi Stone could probably feel the same, you know, yeah. and it was him that ended up with the ball and he still had enough energy then to go when he when Killian McDonald steps up to this one. Oh he's blasted it high and he's blasted over the bar. We're level though, it's not a miss. We're level here in Parnell Park, one seven apiece. And can Wicklow build on this momentum or will Dublin come back with this and a huge ball? Gavin Fogarty takes this one. Wicklow under eight forward. Fogarty heads for the 21. Has a look at the post, kicks it high, punishes the kick out. Oh, it's taken off the crossbar brilliantly by Josh O'Neill. I thought it was over the bar. Kevin Quinn makes a tackle on Connor Tyrrell out there. And it's in the hands of Ben Millist and Dublin now. Just try to build from the back, try to get the ball in hand. They've been a little bit rattled for the first five and a half minutes of this second half. And it's uh, out as far as Luke Murphy Ganan. He gets it back into Larkin O'Dell. O'Dell now tries to pull the strings and build from the back here as he gets the ball. Adam Waddick. Waddick kicks a pass out underneath the stand there to Rory Dwyer. Dwyer looks up, charges forward. He's been good all night, this number five, Dwyer and took a ball off the line low ball in front of Luke Swan oh hands it off as far as Mark O'Leary O'Leary just took it at the second attempt twists and turns gets it back as far as Luke Ward Wicklow back in numbers good play from the Wicklow men it's a 45 given away there and a half chance for Dublin there Podge yeah but still great defending if you look at the numbers that are around the Dublin forwards when they get the ball like I think there was four players going in on one then and that's what Wicklow are going to have to do don't give any cheap scores away Fionn Murray looks like the number 13 looks like he's going to take this one as the Wicklow players sort out their defence a little bit a hectic six and a half minutes here in this second half Wicklow are five down they're back level they've kicked the penalty over the bar it's all been happening here in Parnell Park I hope you didn't go away Fionn Murray has a look at this one Murray, there's the crowd are having a huge say about this one. He's kicked it high and he's kicked it straight over the bar. A good kick from Murray and Dublin take the lead again. It's a point to the good they are here in Parnell Park. Jack Sargent, it'll be interesting to see what Wicklow do. Wicklow sub coming onto the field here. As the floodlights come on here in Parnell Park. Number... Number 20, Jordan Brady is in. Going off is Matthew Ging. We knew he was carrying an injury. Wicklow had to start strong. He's put in a good shift in fairness to Ging. and It's time for fresh legs in there now. Kick out from... Jack Sargent, Sargent goes short as far as Maliki Stone. Stone is a high press from Dublin. He does well enough, gets the ball, pops it off to Tom Morn. Uh, Wicklow have work to do here. Morn does enough to get out as far as the 45 into Zach Cullen. Cullen gives it to Dever. Will and Johnny Keogh. Keogh dropping deep into his own half. Pops a pass off. 
uh, gets it into the hands of Killian McDonald. Good play here from Wicklow in the build up. Sam O'Dowd back to McDonald. Again, a little go and show from McDonald. He twists and turns and he gets it to the 65 and he goes far. Dublin again tried to converge on. He turns back. He's still in possession, but he stripped the possession by Adam Fearn. Good play there by the Dublin men. They held the ball, held him up and took the ball from him at the vital time. Mark Lestrange has a loop and hand pass here. Gavin Ford gets back in on. Good play by Ford. He's pulled back. He's playing really well in this second half, Fogarty. Uh, pops a little kick across here as far as Sam O'Dowd. O'Dowd's starting to really come into this match now in the second half. Again, dropping deep into the middle of the field, but Craig Maguire gets it, gives it as far as uh, Jordan Brady. Brady wearing number 20 out around the middle of the field here. Has a look, has a solo. Killian McDonald on the ball. He gives it in as far as uh, Zach Cullen. Cullen gives the ball to Brady and charges forward with Brady. He's 45 yards out, he's in a little bit of space, hand passes the ball all the way across as far as Ockham Burn. Burn sets himself, doesn't look like it's going where Wicklow wanted to go, it's gone way to the left and wide. Another, just the third wide for Wicklow. Nine minutes on the clock, one point game here in Parnell Park. Again, Wicklow now push up on this Josh O'Neill kick out and a real hassle for them and it's loose, but oh, he does well, the Roddick does well, gets a hand on it, gets it to Mark Destrand, kicks the ball up as far as Larkin O'Dell, O'Dell charged forward the ball, two Wicklow men tackle him, two Wicklow men do really well, Sam O'Dowd and Gavin Fogarty between them, dispossess the number 11, a brilliant play by the Wicklow defence, oh, but just caught nap and then a loose hand pass. A uh, player waiting for it was Tom Moore and ball is out to the far side. Fionn Murray gets this one, kicks this one off his left foot, kicks it high and wide. And a couple of mistakes from both sides, but Dublin look a small bit rattled. Yeah, I think they are, they must be, because I thought that it looked like they were comfortable in the game, you know, and now they know they're in a dogfight. Jack Sargent will take this one. Pops a little pass off to Killian McDonald. McDonald gives it out to Zach Cullen, and Wicklow will start from the back again. Cullen. Out underneath the stand at the far side of the field, solos forward, 65 yards out, pops it into uh, Sean Crowley. Crowley takes the ball and gives it back to Cullen. Wicklow come on the raid again. There's lots of space opening up for both sides here, to be fair. Cullen takes the ball into contact. Again, uh, Dublin Feely touches it on the ground, play on, says the referee. Sam O'Dowd sidesteps his man. He has Killian McDonald in front of him. He's a man outside, gives the ball to McDonald, top of the D. Chance for McDonald as he overcarried it. Now, says the referee into Johnny Keogh. Back to Kevin Quinn. Quinn, a buzz of excitement around again. Quinn, this one isn't going to make it though, drops short into the hands of the keeper and it's in now in the hands of Ben Melist and Dublin now is Dublin's chance to build from the back. What a game of football we're having here, it's a one point game, we're just about 11 minutes on the clock, a wonderful game by both teams, adding to it and in fairness to the referee he's letting the game go and flow, it's been a spectacle up till now, what's going to happen in the next 20 minutes or so will shape these two teams year. It's Adam Fearn on the ball for Dublin. Kicks it out as far as Mark O'Leary. O'Leary in a bit of space. Done a lot of strong running in that first half from these types of positions. 45 yards out. Gets the ball out to the sideline as far as Luke Murphy Ganan. Chance again Wicklow of Robin. Fogarty again. Brilliant play by Fordy. Wicklow now in a little bit of space. Johnny Keogh is on the ball. Linesman on the far side is being asked to, to do his job by the Wicklow support. Kevin Quinn is down the ball. A go in and he gives the ball. It's a line ball, I did think it went out off, I think he kicked it off, Kevin Quinn, it's right underneath us here. So, but there's something happened on the far side, the Wicklow fans weren't happy about the players trying to make runs and there's a referee being called over here, so somebody is going to be talked to. Yeah, definitely, I'm just um, looking there, Kevin Fogarty's after having a great 10 minutes, you know, first 10 minutes of the second half, like he's won a Dublin kick out and he's helped dispossess players and won another turnover there and he needs to keep doing that. Yeah, he's had a huge burn on the, on the start of this one, even kick out there, he's gone there. The referee tells the home to quit the mess and that's pretty much been his attitude yeah. all yeah, through. Yeah, it has, yeah, no, no, and he has, it's been consistent anyway. Again, the kick is taken, Rory Dwyer, the number five takes the ball, gets a ball, looks for a ball inside, Craig Maguire, will he get to this one first? He will, you know, it just, he went for the man instead of the ball, and it's Luke Swan who comes out on top, surely a hand on the back, play away, is the referee, you're going to earn your free here from both sides, two Wicklow men around, ball squirts out, Wicklow line ball, brilliant play again by the Wicklow back line, and it's Real hell for leather stuff on both sides here. As I said, the referee is adding to but there's danger here. Dublin have picked the ball. Oh, hey, it's Fionn Murray this time, the number 13. He kicks it high, and it's gone high and over the bar, and Dublin lead by two, one nine to one seven. 13 minutes on the clock. No one standing on ceremony here. It's, it's a real hell for leather type game. We have a Dublin sub coming in.
The number 15, Luke Ward, has gone off. I thought he looked like one of their more dangerous forwards. Yeah, yeah, he was very dangerous in the first half. He's been quite in the second half. Like a lot of the damage done by Fionn Murray. Like he's after kicking four, five points now for Dublin. Mm. Connor Chalk is in the number 17, a Castle Knock man. So Dublin just freshening things up a little bit. Wicklow goes short to Ockenburn. He gives it out as far as Tom Moore. And Moore looked like he was going to come back inside, decided against it. Gives it back to Byrne. He pops the ball in as far as Zach Cullen. Cullen at the top of his own D has Sean Crowley in space. Crowley now goes forward with the ball 60, on his own 65. The opposite 65 turns, comes back with the ball, gives it to Sam O'Dowd. O'Dowd has a look up at his options again. Dublin get back in numbers, turning back. Kieran, uh, uh, Killian MacDonald gets it through the hands. It's back in the hands of... Uh, Ockham burn from Johnny Kyo there and Wicklow just try to slow things down a little bit which would do us all a bit of good here for a minute because it's been hectic but Maliki Stone goes forward, He's fou he fouled the foul by Stone on the number five there, Rory O'Dwyer, just lost possession a little bit, 14 minutes on the clock, two points in here, Dublin two points to the good and it's uh, Dublin who built from the back, Dwyer again, strong running from the number five, huge engine on this young man, pops a little pass off inside as far as Mark Lavin, Wicklow do really well, Craig Maguire does really well, dispossesses him, gets the ball to Zach Cullen, Cullen throws a pass out as far as Johnny Kyo, Kyo has a look up, has a second look up, the run wasn't made inside, there's double marking on Kevin Quinn, but now he goes long, he goes diagonal, Dublin are back in under, three. oh what a catch, Kevin Quinn, chance for Quinn, is he fouled, no play on, says the referee, I don't think he was fouled out, back as far as Killian McDonald. McDonald kicks it high and over the bar, and I think, look at we we We'd have loved the penalty, but I think it was the right call. He yeah. seemed to stumble more, but that high diagonal ball caught Dublin out. Quinn is on fire inside. If we can keep enough ball inside, it's 1 9 to 1 8. 15 minutes gone. Has to be getting your water break time here. Maybe the referee doesn't want to stop it either because it's been an absolutely brilliant 15 minutes. Brilliant for Wicklow. But Dublin have added to it as well. And Wicklow so being Ushin Cullen from Antalker. Comes in and Ockham Byrne has gone to the line. Huge shift from the Tinna Healy man there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sam O'Dowd will go to the middle, all right, and Bushing Cullen will go to the wing. And I'd say they'll be expecting him to just get up and down that field as much as he can. As we said, we wait for Josh O'Neill's kick out here. The referee, there was an injury to a Dublin player. He's all right, he's ready to go again. No one wants to not be part of this, I'd say. O'Neill kicks the ball, goes long under his Sean Crowley. Crowley gets up, breaks the ball, it's into the hands of O'Shane Cullen. For a straight in onto the field, gives the ball to Sam O'Dowd. O'Dowd gets far. Oh, lovely little show and go for about out. Has a chance to kick it, does he? He's blocked down, but might be gone to the right man. It's gone to Queen. Back to O'Dowd. Chance for O'Dowd. Oh man, back on the line, saves the ball. The full back Adam Rafter does really well. Brilliant covering from him. Keeper beating all ends up. Huge chance for Wicklow and Dublin now build from the back again. Oh, what a chance, Podge. It was, it was a great chance, you know, and he was right. I think he was right go for goal. He had the goalkeeper beaten. He was just unlucky that it was an extra defender on the line. Yeah, and great covering from that defender. It's Adam Waddick now on the ball. Hand passes the ball out here underneath us to Connor Tyrrell. Tyrrell goes forward with the ball and it's uh, into the hands of Mark Lestrange. He kicks more direct ball in as far as uh, the number 17, Connor Chalk. He recycles the ball back out to Connor Tyrrell. Dublin's turn now to be in possession of the ball. Uh, Tyrrell has his hands on the ball, gives it to Lestrange, back out as far as Connor Chalk, Dublin trying to draw Wicklow out here maybe and try and get a score before the water break like they did in the first half as Adam Waddy gets the ball out to Mark O'Leary, long ball into this Fionn Murray, Murray looks dangerous every time he gets the ball, recycles it back out as far as Mark Lavin, a good play there from Wicklow, they got back in numbers again, they turn Dublin, it's back out as far as Waddick, Waddick has a look, pops a little ball inside, Stone doesn't quite Get to it though, Luke Swan gets it at the second attempt, gives it back to Connor Tyrrell. Tyrrell 45 yards out from uh, the goal down in front of us here, gets the ball inside and it's back into the hands of the wing back. Mark Lestrange again, Dublin recycle it through the hands. Luke Murphy Ganan has it, gets it back as far as Luke Swan. Wicklow just holding their shape. Larkin O'Dell gets the ball, he's dangerous this lad, he gets to the top of the D. Again, Wicklow get numbers back, but it's a free for a tug on a jersey and it's going to be a free in to Dublin and Fionn Murray gratefully walks over, accepts the ball, nearly 18 minutes gone with it. and we must be on the water break I'd say after this kick, looks like Wicklow could be two down, this man has been pretty accurate from his place balls all night, he's putting it down on the ground, he's it was probably the softest for you the night so far. Yeah, and probably it was, just uh, I was almost, you were kind of wondering why, because he hasn't been yeah. given them the oh, he's let it, He's added to a fantastic game here in Parnell Park, to be fair to him, but Fionn Murray 
sets himself almost Johnny Wilkinson like Corey kicks this but it works the routine is good and it's straight over the bar it's water break time here in Barnell Park 110 to Dublin 1-8 to Wicklow a storm in 15 minutes for Wicklow there to still find themselves two points down Podge but a uh, huge improvement and, and Dublin looked a little bit rattled for some of that yeah definitely like <laughs> and the difference between it like in the first half Dublin seven kick outs won six and in the um in the second half, they've had five kickouts and lost three of those, you know, and where Wicklow have won all four kickouts. Yeah, look, those are the stats. And I think we sort of spoke about caution to the wind. I think yeah. we just have a go at this now. You know. It's a pity Darcy's not in there, I suppose. But look, JP and Allen, if Darcy was there, JP and Allen probably be only coming in now, and he's after have been a huge contributor to that yeah, to no, that uplift. Yeah, definitely, you know, and it's uh, the three on talker lads are after coming on now yeah. and. I'll be replacing two lads. Three Tin Healy players actually is yeah. what they've replaced, you know, and um, you know, and it, it's like it's just throw caution to the wind now. They're definitely in this game, like you know, this game is winnable, you know. And like we said at the beginning of it, against the Dublin team, there's ten players that played in the All Ireland final last year. Like, you know, Wicklow are really up for this challenge. They're bang there, the referee says, You've had enough water, lads, come back to me. Don't forget to go to winner Renault.ie. Chance to win a Renault Captor E Tech. Tickets are 1 for 20, 3 for 50 euros or 7 for 100. We've only two weeks left, so get your name in the hat fairly quick. Kevin O'Brien is just asking these players for one more push, one more 15 minutes here. Jack Sargent to take the kick out. As I said, Dublin two points to the good here, so if the next 15 minutes is as good as the last 15, we're in for a treat. Again, a huge kick from Sargent down the field. Wicklow go along, three Dublin men up, and it breaks to Craig Maguire. Maguire does well, he's turned over, ball spills out on the ground. Dublin do well to gather it up. It's that man Rory Dwyer again. As the floodlights are on here, as you can see, Larkin O'Dell takes the ball, gives it out as far as Connor Tyrrell. Dublin come probing at this Wicklow defence again. They've been very strong on both sides, to be fair. The defences have been really good. Wicklow, again, look to push out just at the right time, but Mark O'Leary takes control of the ball, gets it as far as Adam Waddick, back to O'Leary. Wicklow now just have to try and wait for a break in, breakdown in this Dublin attack. They haven't been broken down a lot of them so far, so Adam Waddick gets the ball out to Rory Dwyer. Dwyer. Right foot kick, right how underneath the stand goes to Mark O'Leary. O'Leary again does trademark runs, a huge engine, this man. But good play again by Johnny Keogh all the way back. Turns him back and makes him think about where he has to go again. Ball is back with Adam Waddick. Waddick goes long over underneath his here, right underneath his outside the boot. Huge kick out to Mark Destrange. Space inside here now for Adam Fear and he gives it out. As far as Connor Tyrrell, Dublin going through the passing motions here but Tyrrell takes on his man goes down the short side decides to come back gives the ball out as far as Luke Murphy Ganan he gets it out here as far as uh, Mark Lestrange Lestrange has a look up at his options again Wicklow just dropped to the top of the D and make Dublin come at him it's in the hands of Mark O'Leary O'Leary out as far as Adam Waddick Waddick again twists and turns Kevin Quinn is the only man home for Wicklow the only man inside the half up here was Connor Chalk is on the ball this looks dangerous Wicklow need to push out on him a little tug of the jersey play away as the referee Chalk tries to get in his left foot oh, dangerous looking ball in hand on a hand there from Wicklow numbers back there from Wicklow one of them is Maliki Stone Stone comes out with the ball again he needs support There's two, three Dublin jerseys around. Support comes and gets it as far as Gavin Fogarty. Oh, finds a little pass through traffic there. Does really well. It's into the hands of Killian McDonald. McDonald again, Dublin high press, doing really well and keeping Wicklow pinned back there. No quick counter attack. But Wicklow have the ball now and it's Zach Cullen, the Avondale man, 45 yards out, gets the ball, pops off a little pass here in as far as O'Sheen Cullen, I think, is it? It's O'Sheen Cullen on the ball. He gets it in as far as... As far as Jordan Brady, Brady plays a little one-two with Cullen. Cullen looks up, drills the ball in. It doesn't get past the first man, though. It broke down, and uh, the centre-back, Adam Waddick, deals with it really well. Gets it out as far as Luke Murphy, Ganan. He comes down the line with it. They go, they, oh, it's broke down. It's at the top of the D, and Zach Cullen, it was a, a dangerous pass. It gives it to Cullen. Cullen out to Kevin Quinn. Quinn has a look, kicks the ball high. Oh, it's off the post and away to the left-hand side. Very uncharacteristic there from Kevin Quinn. We're sure we're going to get a score. 
we, as Dublin played a dangerous game across their own square and it broke down and now Dublin charge up the field there's a player injured Mark Lavin seems to have pulled the calf muscle there by the look of it he's gone down he's out right out on the sideline and uh, it's into the hands of Adam Fear and let off there for Dublin Podge yeah, no, definitely, you know, I, I did expect Kevin to quick kick that, you know, Zach Cullen did really well and intercepted the ball, ran at them, I think made the right decision passing it to Kevin, just unfortunately came off the outside of the post. It was almost for a split second, it was a goal chance, but he, he went high, he went off the post, Dublin come with Rory Dwyer, this number five has been a torn in Wicklow's side all night, he's gone to ground after the tackle, Gavin Ford, he comes across to Marshall, Mark O'Leary, good play by Wicklow to turn over, but it's out into the hands of uh, Conor Tyrrell, Tyrrell, Twists and turns, gives it to Fionn Murray. Dublin come all the way back with the ball out between their own 45 and 65 to look to probe at Wicklow again. It's Adam Fearn. Fearn looks at his options. Four Wicklow jerseys in front of him. They've done enough to turn him. It's in the hands of Luke Murphy. Ganan. Ganan pops a little pass off here and it's back into the hands of his fullback, Adam Rafter. That goal line clearance could be crucial in this one now. It's looking. Adam Waddy gets the ball out to Rory Dwyer. He finds Mark O'Leary. O'Leary's 45 yards out, goes to launch one in. It's gone long and it's that man, Maliki Stone. Stone doesn't want to mark. He charges forward with the ball. Pops a pass off as far as Gavin Fordy. Fogarty way ahead though. It's pinched on him by Conor Tyrrell out as far as Mark Lavin. He looked like he was gone a minute ago. He's back on the field and he's back full of energy. Uh, Larkin Odell has this one. Ham passes the ball off as far as Adam Rafter. Rafter solos with the ball. Look, tries to size up his options. He's a runner inside. He opts not to go with him. He finds Luke Murphy Ganan on the 45 into the hands. This is energy sapping for Wicklow. Trying to win this ball back. It's Adam Rafter again, way up the field. The number three. He twists, he turns, he kicks a foot pass back here as far as Mark O'Leary. O'Leary now takes charge of the ball. Dublin just trying to draw Wicklow out. They're trying to pull the energy that's left in those Wicklow legs. We know Wicklow finished strong the last night again. Leash can they do it again? Adam Rafter gives the ball to Larkin Odell. Odell again just orchestrating things with that trademark swagger of his. He's found a pocket of space 65 yards out now and he goes to go long. There's players, there's bodies on the ground. Look, play away as the ref ball has hopped in over the head of everyone. Jack Sargent takes it. Was he foul? Play away as the referee has said all night almost. Almost like there was only two or three whistles in this match. Wicklow come out with the ball. There's one now. Advantage, he says, play away. Wicklow charged down the field with the ball. It's in the hands of Sean Crowley. Crowley pops a little pass off there, but Wicklow lose possession. Ball is inside. Oh, it's well done by... Uh, the cornerback Ben Willis he done really well there it's in the hands of Fionn Murray Murray loose hand pass Wicklow take it back over it's lick first matter here in Parnell Park a fantastic game of football Oshin Cullen has the ball he's tackled by Adam Fearn referee goes to his pocket he's going to give us all a break while he books and podge <laughs> it, it's not the most pure football of all time on both sides but God it's a good match yeah there's loads of passion in this and it's frantic you know and, but like you know it, it's, it's, it's still there it's still there for Wicklow Zach Cullen will take this one. We have a we have a sub coming in. <coughs> Seven has gone out. Craig Maguire has gone out. Craig Maguire, right? I was playing very well. Maybe he's gassed out. In 23, no, it's not. It's not 23. I think it's. We'll see now in a second. We'll bring that to you. Where, I'm looking into it. I'm looking into a set of spotlights here as well. It's not doing me any good. We'll bring it up. We close up now. I think it is our own daily Dan. I think you're right. Wicklow have a free right in the middle of the field. Referee says play away again, lads. 25 and a half minutes gone here. It's a two-point game. Wicklow need a score from somewhere. Wicklow need a willing runner from somewhere. There is a willing runner, but there's also a Dublin man there, and they get first to the break, and Rory Dwyer gets the ball. Wicklow, oh, they've turned him over. Brilliant play. Killian McDonald makes a burst for the goal. Chance for McDonald to kick another score, but he's dragged it to the left and wide. Wicklow have won their free, though. The advantage was there. And no Matthew Ging, no on Darcy. <laughs> Who steps up now? Johnny Kyo, I'd say. Yeah. He stray over to look for the ball, Johnny Kyo. Just about three or four yards outside the top of the D. Uh, Johnny's after putting in a big shift. I'm after looking at him coming back there and he's after getting in a couple of great tackles on his own 45, you know, and he's working really, really hard. But this is definitely well within his range. So 
bring it back to a point with five minutes to go or less. So, chance here for Kyo. A run being made there by a run daily then, but Kyo is having none of it. Sets himself up. A familiar pose of the young Barton, that's man. Kicks this one high. It's off the post. It drops down into the danger. Rory Dwyer's on it. He's on the ground. Three Wicklow men around him. He drops the ball to the ground. There's a tussle there. Kevin Quinn is there. Again, just Dublin just do enough to get away. Two balls after hitting the post. We're two points down here. On such things, matches turn, I suppose. Uh, Dublin come away with this one, though. It's out there in the hands of... I think it's Connor Chalk, I'm not sure, but Dublin, it's not Connor Chalk, it's David O'Dowd. Dowd uh, recycles the ball, gives it back, it's into the hands of Larkin O'Dell. O'Dell right back on his own 45 now. Again, Dublin look to take the sting out of Wicklow. Connor Tyrrell gets the ball in his hands, has a look. Adam Fearn is in front of him, he goes to Fearn. Fearn the number nine and has covered huge ground in this, gives the ball back to Larkin O'Dell. Gavin Fogarty turns him up, he's tackled again there, tackled as well. There's a kick, it's dropping short, it's into the hands of. <clears throat> Jack Sargent and Jordan Brady got back there as well to get a tackle in I'm just trying to look at my notes here if there's a bit of a break it's been that hectic here you wouldn't have a split second it's Malachy Stone on the ball right at the top of his own D again Stone gets the ball in as far as Sean Crowley Crowley tries to get a pass away but Dublin are, Dublin are in the way and it's into the into the hands of the number 19 Sean Falker Falker's in and back as far as Conor Tyrrell <coughs> Tyrrell twists and turns, gives the ball out here as far as Connor Chalk. Chalk has Luke Murphy going and right on the sideline here and again Dublin probe away. Falk, Falk, Farker has the ball, gets it off here. Connor Tyrrell. Tyrrell, 45 yards out, tries to go down the line. He's gone out over the line. Wicklow do enough. Wicklow back in possession. It could be a huge turn with 28 minutes gone on the clock. Wicklow need to get up the field. They need to get a score. They need to put nerves into the last few minutes of this cracking game of football here in Parnell Park. Oh, line ball is loose and it comes into a Dublin hand on. Farshley, Fionn Murray gets the ball out as far as Adam Fearn. Fearn will set himself at the top of the D. Fearn will kick, but he's gone to the left of the post and he's gone wide and a chance gone a begging for Dublin, luckily for Wicklow Hodge. Yeah, no, definitely. And they're playing so well, you know. Um, that, that was unfortunate, you know. And just a Dublin pair in the right place for them and the wrong place for us. Wicklow look to win this kick out. They need to win this kick out. Sam O'Dowd demands the ball. They're at Newman, wins the ball, takes his mark, has a look, pops a little pass off across the field here to a run daily. Dan. He charges forward with the ball, twists and turns, has a look up, needs support. Ball is knocked out of his hands though. Two Wicklow men go over, loose boo on the ball, pushing the backs of the referee. Wicklow demand the ball back. Killian MacDonald has it. Someone needs to make a run here and show for this ball to try and get into the danger area. He goes backwards with it, it's Zach Cullen. Cullen, 65 yards out from the Dublin goal here in Parnell Park. 1-10 to 1-8. We're into the last half minute of normal time. Again, a sloppy hammer. Oh, boot in, surely. Play away to the referee. Killian McDonald takes the ball. He needs support. He gets that free. was for the other one, I'd say. Long ball in. He goes direct. A huge kick. It's a dangerous kick. Keeper punches the ball away. And first to it is Connor Tyrrell. Tyrrell gets the ball. Gets it out as far as Mark Lestrange. Good play by Dublin to work the ball out. But it's loose by Lestrange. It's off to a Dublin man last, surely. He's saying it came on. So, temper starting to flare here. Wicklow weren't happy with that, some of the players. I think it hit the Wicklow player after the Bradley Hickey is on here now as well. I'm just being told. Mark Lestrange has the ball under his arm. Dublin in control here of possession, which is vital. It's still a two-point game, one ten to one eight. Sean Crowley goes off for Bradley Hickey. Is there one last twist in this one? We wonder. We'll know shortly. Again, a one-two with Rory Dwyer there. Lestrange does well. Gets the ball as far as Connor Tyrrell. Tyrrell has handled a lot of ball in this game. The number two. He goes all the way back as far as Adam Rafter. Rafter back to his goalie, Josh O'Neill. And he takes it back off him as they try to just suck the life out of Wicklow here and take the sting out. Is there one more? Is there one more attack? Or will Dublin come down and just get the insurance point now as it would be? It's over with Ben Malist. Malist 45 yards out from his own goal as Dublin just play around with this ball across the back line. When I say play around, it's with intent and it's all being done very well. 
There's no messing. Adam Rafter, the fullback, at the top of his own D, gives the ball to Connor. Tyrrell, Tyrrell goes back with the ball all the way back to Josh O'Neill. 31 minutes on the clock here, and it's Dublin just playing the possession game. They're doing it very well. Wicklow need to try and get a turnover here. Kicks the ball far off. It's a great ball down the line, and it's in as far as uh, Sean Sennon Faulkner. Faulkner does really well, but it's spilt. It's, Wicklow turned it over right in their own 14, a chance. Wicklow have a free out. Uh, held up by Luke Swan, he goes long, there's a player in space over the far side is Jordan Brady, Brady 45 yards out from his own goal, Wicklow need one more attack, get forward says Kevin O'Brien at the far side of the field, he needs support, he gets support in the form of Chris Grimes, Grimes comes out, pops a pass off to her on Daly Dan, Dan strides forward up the field, 65 yards out, oh brilliant, brilliant tackle there by the Dublin defenders, knocked the ball away from, it's into the hands of Luke Swan and Dublin again take control of possession here, possession that's vital, 32 and a half minutes on the clock as Dublin try to work from the back, they do work from the back, an injection of pace from that man Rory Dwyer, he's still going forward, stopped, his run was checked there but Luke Swan does well and gets a long kick pass out to the far side, out as far as Adam Waddick, the centre back, Wicklow player lying down on the ground, it's exhaustion I'd say is it? He's out for the count by the looks of things. It's Fionn Murray, though. Murray, score of five or six points in this game. Gets the ball back to Rory O'Dwyer. O'Dwyer gets the ball out to Senan Faulkner. Or Farker. Faulkner does really well and hand passes a little ball off here to uh, Mark Lestrange. Lestrange to Luke Murphy Guinan. He charges forward the ball, probes inside, good ball inside, good hand in from Maliki Stone, but uh, Connor Chalk gets it at the second of them, pops a little pass off to Luke Murphy going, that man Fionn Murray is in the danger area again, brilliant hand in by Wicklow, they've turned it over, they've got the ball back there, Bradley Hickey done really well, chance for Wicklow to get up the field, the crowd sent something, but again it's tired legs, it's a loose pass, and Back comes Adam Fearn. Fearn does really well. Can Wicklow turn it over? No, they can't. Rory Dwyer gets the ball. Dwyer, huge player for Dublin tonight. Charges forward with the ball with 33 and a half minutes on the clock. Dublin are just trying to see this one out. A, a fantastic game of football, as I said. And here they come again with the possession game across their own 45. It's Connor Tyrrell with the ball. Mark Lestrange has it. Will they go forward? They look to go forward now. Connor Tyrrell, Wicklow funneling back, but he stops and tries to retrieve with the ball. Gets a hand pass off, good ball into the middle as they hug possession now. Connor Chalk finds the ball back to far Adam Rafter. Rafter does really well. Solos has a look. Solos again, foot pass all the way across, and Wicklow will just have to come out and try and get the ball back. Adam Waddick goes and it finds a pocket of space, a good pocket of space it is too. A Dublin charge forward. There's danger here with Luke Murphy going, pops a little pass inside into the top of the D. Fionn Murray just about gets it at second of them, gets it to Connor Chalk. Chalk pops it off here to Luke Swan. Swan kicks it high and kicks it over the bar. A massive score for Dublin. A massive score for the Dublin men with 34 and a half minutes on the clock. There's three minutes to go. As a week low sub is introduced right at the death, we haven't been told how long this to be played yet, so. Number 21, Shane Daly comes in. Killy McDonald's. It was Killy yeah, and it was down yeah, it was Killy the and there. He's, he's gassed completely. Kick out goes long down the field again. Huge kick. Can Wicklow win it? No, they can't. There's a hand on it. Dublin are first to the break. Adam Fearn is first to the break. Ball in the side as far as Connor Chalk. Dublin hold all the aces here now because position is vital with a three point lead. Mark Lestrange finds the ball out as far as Ben Millis. Millis goes cross field there. Out as far as Adam Waddick. Waddick as they try to draw Wicklow out. Gives it to Rory Dwyer. Luke Swan is in a lot of. Uh, a lot of space out there, he's a dangerous man to be leaving in space, gets it to the 21, has his kick, has his advantage, it's over the bar, there's no advantage needed, four points, Dublin go in front here, 35 and a half minutes on the clock, it's been a valiant effort from the Wicklow lads, it just hasn't been enough, Podge, by the looks of things. No, it's a pity really, like, and you know, it's, they were right in this game for a real long time, you know, and there's the final whistle now. And final whistle has gone here. As I said, 1-12 to 1-8, a valiant effort by the weekly men and a brilliant game of football for to watch, even to be Wicklow or Dublin or neutral, but it's been a fantastic game of football. But they just, I suppose, two goal line clearances, penalty over the bar, a couple of balls hitting the post, you know, it all adds up. And that is it, Emmett, you know, like we're beaten by four pints and you can kind of say, you could say, oh, Wicklow put up a real good show, but to tell you the truth, it was actually better than that. Yeah. Like you, you listed them there, goal line clearances, 
penalty over the bar and hit the post twice. Yeah. You know, and, and lose on the RC and, and lose on the RC as well. Like yeah. the lads can definitely be proud of themselves, but also that was a game they could have won without a shadow of a doubt. Like I think they defied the odds there tonight. You know, Dublin were ten to one on, Wicklow were six to one. It didn't play like that there tonight. Didn't play, and Dublin are happy enough to get out here with a four-point win. I'd say, and going forward, as you said, ten of this Dublin team after playing in the All Ireland final last year, a uh, huge night from the Wicklow lads. Unfortunately, they've just came up short. And look, I suppose, Tali, you at home. I hope you enjoyed the game as much as we did here. Um, we're going to try and make our way back down the N11 now to to home. So, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye.